Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we are back in Sulani and we are building another tiny house. So this one ended up being a tier 3 tiny house. So it's like a small house, but the inside is very small. As you can tell, I placed some like extra tiles on the front and the back patio area. So I think that drove the tile count up a little bit because it actually is a very small house. But right now I'm just doing the shell of the house and I was going to try to do like a little bit of a roofing trick to kind of make this little area that you see right now. I wanted to make it a little bit higher than the rest of the house, but it didn't work out and so I just deleted it and went back to this. And I actually don't think it looks bad like this. I think it would have looked better if my plan had worked, but I think it looks okay anyway. But I hope you guys like it. I feel like this is a little bit of a modern beach house. Not really modern, but it's not really like a classic laid back beach house. But I hope you guys like it anyway. It's very simple, but I think it still turned out quite pretty as well. So yeah, this is, uh, this is basically it. I'm going to add some furniture to the like exterior. I think I have a couple of loungers and I'm going to add like a small dining table as well on the outside. So there's a little bit of decoration on the outside, but right now I'm just going to start off on the landscaping and the landscaping goes through several stages for this build. So I start off doing my typical Sulani landscaping and that's just grabbing stuff from the debug menu and then kind of scattering it around. And so I started off doing that and then I decided that the house might would look better with like a kind of flower bed type thing in front of it. So you'll see me change to that in just a little bit. So I get one of the like simple fences and I try to make a flower bed and I do leave it like that for a little while. I actually can't even remember if I changed it while I was recording or if I waited until afterwards, but I do end up deleting those flower beds that you'll see in just a little bit. Here I go placing them. Now I end up deleting this because I did not like the way it looked and I went back to the original landscaping. So the landscaping definitely went in stages and you'll see this kind of set up for most of the video but I do change it because I just felt like it looked really weird. And yeah, basically this is the exterior of the house. I think I am going to add like a small swing set just to decorate the lot a little bit. I don't know if I said this earlier, but this is a 30 by 20 lot in Sulani. So it's fairly small and I like that. I like doing smaller lots because when it comes to landscaping really big lots or decorating them, it kind of is exhausting really. So I really like the smaller lots, but yeah, this is the exterior of the house. You guys can let me know in the comments which one you liked better, the flower bed kind of thing or the more natural landscaping. I feel like the the more natural landscaping looked a lot better to me personally, but this is the, like I said, the little bit of decorations we're gonna put on the exterior. I just wanted to add a few more plants and then I really liked the look of the loungers. The photo that I used for inspiration for this build actually had kind of the same like front setup. And I thought it looked really nice, so I wanted to do that as well. But that's basically the exterior of this build and the back little patio area. There's really nothing to it. As you can see, it's really, really simple. But it's right there by the beach, so you don't really need a whole lot of decoration when you're right there by the water. But this is the interior of the house. So it's got one bed and it is a it is a double bed, but it's one of the situations where I have it pushed up against the wall. So functionally, you know, it probably would work better as a single bed. It is functional for two sims. It just makes gameplay a little bit harder, but this is the little bedroom area. So I have the little bathroom enclosed. You guys can kind of see it to the side of the bedroom, but everything else is in the same room. So the bed and the kitchen and everything else is in the same room just because that's how I find it easiest to do tiny houses. But yeah, basically this is it for this build. We're placing the kitchen area right now and there's not really much else to this, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions for future builds, then be sure to let me know down below in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all are having an amazing day. And we will talk again soon in the next video.